I would think like, and this is just a top number, like maybe a thousand for everything. A thousand bucks for everything. Hey guys, today I am driving up to Cleveland, Ohio for a private pick. A viewer named Jason reached out to me a couple weeks ago and said that unfortunately his dad passed away recently and they've just got a house full of stuff, collectible cars, trains, just all kinds of stuff. So I wish it was under better circumstances that I was heading up there, but I'm still grateful for the opportunity. It's gonna be about a four hour drive for me and I've got an Airbnb up there to stay at overnight. And typically with something like this, I wouldn't kind of just go in blind, you know, spending all the time and money to head up there and get back. But I've been talking to him a little bit. He sent me some pictures and we've pretty much agreed on a price for a good chunk of it anyways. Um, a lot of it I'll have to just see when I get there, but I think it'll end up being a pretty good deal. I always gotta make sure that he knows somebody's. Oh, sure, yeah. Because he freaks out. Oh, I've got some already. Thank you, though. He's a big old boy. Yeah, he's a little overweight, so well, he won't be my anymore. Dad, after my, dad, my dad would uh, feed him donuts. And oh food. no. Yeah, he ate, he ate <laughs> so he's gonna be on mom's diet now. That you got spoiled. Dad's not around. You got spoiled, bud. Come on, baby. Hello. Nice to meet you. My mom Judy. Judy. Hi, nice to meet you. So don't don't bother the mess. It's just we're my oh, mom, oh. reorganizing everything. So oh no, I understand. Time, so. No, his sister passed away right before he did. Oh my goodness. Really needs oh sure. Funny. Thank you. Um, but we kind of brought most of the stuff in here to look through, so you didn't have to go everywhere in this in here. But also like throughout the whole house too. Okay. <laughs> So, I mean, her dad was, my grandpa was a big antiquer too. Oh, really? Um, oh, yeah. I so, my dad, a lot of stuff a long time ago. little bit about my dad. He was, um, Garrett's, was, I don't know if you know what you but Garrett's was an old school, like, you know, he historical town. town yeah. And uh, <laughs> when, he, when he was in high school, he was a big baseball star, and he actually got uh, recruited by the Dodgers and White Sox and was going to get no drafted. Kidding. And then he got drafted for Vietnam. Yeah. So, wow. he was a huge sports guy. When he got back from Vietnam, he just, you know, collected everything yeah so um he's got tons no, of toys he got rid of a lot of we, all of his railroad his trains his dead. train stuff we had we had a couple yard sales people like lionel drive miles oh yeah but these are the toys he never wanted to sell um Just because he liked and other antiques so yeah. i mean my mom has really i mean it's either me putting him online and i figured you'd be the, someone like you'd be the best person because yeah. um it's kind of what you do so I mean, I don't know where you want to start. I don't either what, or, um, what you're interested in. Or... The cars. Please come here, please. Unwrap whatever you want. My mom is having them just put them, which took them <laughs> off the shelf. Um, and get your chair or whatever you want. Um, so the, these are all the, the, the cars that are all the one, the, I think it's the 118 scale, and then the tractors. And then these are more like the high end tractors. I think they're, um, I got pictures of some of them online to so see. I don't know how much you know about them. Um, and then there's all kinds of these, this box is all the cop cars. I, I mean, whatever you want me to take out, feel free to let, sit down or whatever okay. you want to do, man. The little teeny ones are in the purple one. Yeah, yeah these cars. are all the cop cars. I don't overwhelm them, man. There's just so much. If you just want us to step back and you look through, feel free. Oh, to that's fine. Them. Whatever you want to do, John. You just so like having a new visitor, stuff. don't you, dude? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's just so much. It's all really good stuff that he never wanted to sell before, so I know it's a lot of it's well, valuable. Well, he had this. Or, that's what this case. Where'd that case go? Oh, he had them all in here. Oh, yeah, the cop the, cars. The, the oh, that's cool. Cars, yeah. They're, well, they're state They're from highway. every state. I think they're state highway. Would you prefer I just made a pile of stuff and yeah, kind of figured out a price? I have a notepad over there if you want to write stuff down. Okay. It's whatever works oh, for yeah, you, man. Just... Yeah, I'll just start kind of... Yeah, if you want stuff to make a pile, up. We can, we, I can, uh, we can put it on, on top of this crate here. Yeah, sure. Um, the cars I won't move. I'll just leave them okay. where they are because I definitely want those. Yeah. Um, no sense in moving them. And then whatever other stuff I find, I'll just yeah, put up here. Those little trucks are in here too. Oh wow, there's a bunch of yeah, like signs and stuff like, too. Here, I can, I can, 
These are all like summer some wall, of the... Summer wall, summer not. Oh, that's just that newspaper my dad gave me. <laughs> um, oh, very cool. I mean, there's a lot of this. Some Lionel ones. These aren't as old, but these are a lot of the real old ones. That was very cool. And they've been 1834, but it looks well, like it's brought, a, like his what you said, had a liquor store in town, and that's, he had that. That's very cool. This calendar up in there. That one's cool, too. That looks like just a page. Old advertising. Yeah. yeah something. Wanted like Butch Cassidy. That is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Man. This one's, and this one, I think, is probably the oldest. If it's a picture, yeah, I don't know what it is in that one. Louisiana and Arkansas. That was in Bob's. Nineteen thirty-two. Bob's beverage store. That's just sixty-eight. It was railroad. It's a cool old can. Yeah, he had that up in the train room too. And this is. These are just newer bobbleheads. Those are just bobbleheads. Here's those other. Ones. You know me. I'm a sucker for bobbleheads. Yeah. <laughs> I've got so many bobbleheads. <laughs> Jim did too, and I tried. To, I was going to give them to the one guy that he liked. He goes, "Oh, I gave mine all my whole collection away." Oh yeah. What are those? Oh, those are Estribos. Now those, my dad, he wrote everything he gave me, he wrote notes in. And it was from Columbia. My grandpa traveled like the yeah. world after he, oh, got, yeah? after he got a service. The Public yeah. Steel had 15 weeks paid vacation every five years. So he went wow. out. I bought these Estribos off of Rosita de Bold in 1968 in Manizales, Colombia. I'm very fond of them. I want you to have them and keep them for many years to come. My dear friend Gloria told me that people in Colombia who have them put them on the floor for good luck. Wow. Now he said they're from Con Con Conquistadors. That is so cool. She had them in a barn with flowers in them. Oh, that's a and that's neat way to repurpose them. I've never seen anything like that. Those are really cool. <laughs> call them as Estribos. These are the these are mostly the, the gear ones I was saying, and then there's the gas pumps in there. Would you like to buy this the whole set of whatever the state or city it was? Like? Oh yeah, roadway. <laughs> my, yeah, my late grandfather drove for roadway. There's, yeah, there's one of the semis down there with the box on it. Yeah, he's oh, a wow. truck driver. So safety patrol. Oh yeah, old railway truck. That is yeah, cool. most of those are first gear one for first gear brand. They're made in oh, yeah. Oregon or something. Like uh, see, this is the one that I think he just I found liked them. He didn't care where they were from. Yeah. Just he liked because then he buy all of them. A lot of these ones Detroit. are Ameri like American made ones. The first gear ones are kind of find it right there. The detail on these are just incredible. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, made in Oregon. Or Iowa, I'm sorry. I used just to have them up in those windows, of... but we're getting new windows. So. Oh, yeah. If you want to grab down, feel free. These old bottles just fascinate me because yeah, yeah, me cool. too. back in the day, on. they would just tell you, you know, anything yeah. and everything would just cure whatever disease oh, you had, yeah. you know? Like yeah. the, the magic elixir. Well, the little teeny ones, my husband said they had at, our, at the elementary school, and he got those with his lunch. Oh, wow. Dairy. The little dairy. And I said, you I can't imagine little kids with glass bottles. That is cool. Bottles. Not, not the kids in our school where I work. Distilled water vitalized by ultraviolet rays. <laughs> it's like the new. What is it? Yeah. What's the uh, what's the kind that's so popular now? Uh, 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 what's in that? What's in Fiji that? water. Yeah. yeah. It's like the Fiji or. Uh, yeah. I saw Mark Wahlberg got a new Aqua Aqua Fitness water. Oh God. It's supposed to be expensive and. Aqua Fitness water. Yeah. Right. So cool. Is there anything here you want to pull out? That Guinness penguin looks yeah. really cool. I did not notice that. I feel like every time I turn around, I'm seeing yeah, something so I didn't see. Like so man, that are so cool. Oh, that is really cool. It's light. I don't what know what it's it? made of. Oh, okay. It's kind of like a plastic. Oh, that was, yeah, from the bottom. Just... Yeah, that's cool. Hmm. Hold the cancer. That's neat. <laughs> the presidents. Are Ohio, right. the mother of presidents. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> You can go look in the garage if you want. <laughs> I mean, if you want to look, look at yeah, sure. Oh, he, oh, he's got a ton of old tools, though. That's the thing. Like, like this was my dad's. That's this a beautiful stuff, piece. Well, this stuff is like older stuff. I don't know if this stuff that you know. And there's tools. There's air tools. I don't know if you buy any like tools. I, yeah, I guess it's just worth asking, though. Yeah. I mean, there's an old scale that's there's those really B old. BW oh wow! That yeah, that scale is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, that used to be in my kitchen, but it made my cupboard up on top go like this. Oh no! My dad gave me that. That's, this by a whole Volkswagen van in front. Oh, of that is cool. I, mean, I know, like, I know these are collectible. Oh, I scoop. Yeah. That's neat. That's what yeah, I love this type of stuff. Yeah, I figured you did. Yeah. Because I didn't know I see it. People, 
picking this stuff all That's the time. That's scale. I had two scales. I don't know where the other one went. One of them had some kind of writing on it. Yeah, a lot of the stuff we've moved out here recently. Just we were going to get the art until we never had it. Yeah. I can tell it's going to be heavy just by looking at it. So my grandpa lived at the uh, lived by the West Side Market in downtown. Here oh yeah. Oh, that was a baby scale, I think. Did you? Is the this stuff for sale? Yeah. The pitchfork, yeah, uh, sled. Yeah. Yeah, that's what people put on their barns just for like decoration. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Teddy Ruxpin. I had one of those when I was a kid. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah. I'll hand you that if that's all right, yeah, Jason. I'll What's bring the, the rest of this out. York for Miller? He uh, has, I don't know where he got that. Huh, the oh. Miller hard hat? It's old. Oh, I it's don't know. It's cool. There's another one I saw unless you got that out of here, Jason. Yeah, the Miller here. hard hat. I got it from, I mean, I, I don't no know. Idea. And that's not even a sticker. That's no, actually, he, he that's he embossed on there. He the factory there. when uh, he, he delivered there for something, and when he drove semi, he delivered there. Interesting. All right, so I got all this out here, and then what's in there? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I mean, like, I, it's hard to say because, I, I, like, for like for like a large lot, I mean, do, I mean, do you have an idea ballpark? Which, like, well, you were kind of thinking you said like four or five hundred on the cars and tractors yeah, and stuff. Because yeah. um, I mean, I don't. I mean, I I would think like, and this is just a top number, like maybe a thousand for everything. Thousand bucks for everything. I mean that would because I mean I know I know like looking at the and I the first gear stuff like those trucks they I mean some of them are up you know, they sell for 150 bucks yeah a, piece. a lot of money um and they're they're active sales I mean but I also know like there's a lot of all because I used to do a lot of online sales too so I yeah and, and obviously the drive up and everything so I mean probably if, if right around there would be probably comfortable with because I know there's a lot there yeah um, in resale but I mean I'd be comfortable with a thousand yeah I'd, I'd leave you know plenty of meat on the bone for me yeah i mean that's I, I care i care about both ends yeah i appreciate that man seriously yeah just you guys taking the time and showing me everything and reaching out like it means it's a lot good. all right let's get you paid let's just make it 1100 cool. man thank you appreciate yeah. it yeah thank it. you very much yeah we'll uh yeah, yeah, I mean, come in and whatever you want to do. I don't know how, whatever. Yeah, I'll go ahead and move all this process, to the back, but... and then I can start bringing in I'll start, totes. I'll start getting down those steins. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Thank Thanks for everything, man. Oh, absolutely. I appreciate it. Absolutely. I'm yeah. happy. It was a pleasure so meeting much. you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We love I'm going to watch your, your show, so. uh, show now. You told me about it on YouTube, huh? Oh, yeah. you got to watch it. All right, guys, I'm back from Cleveland. I am thrilled with that haul of stuff. There's so many good pieces in that lot. A lot of good stuff for the antique booth. Great stuff for eBay. I'm just so grateful that you guys gave me the chance to go up there and take a look at everything. Jason, Judy, and Liam, it was a pleasure meeting all of you, and I can't wait to do business together again sometime soon. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.